Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the Spain travel series. So I can't believe we're on episode 8, but we are back in Malaga and this vlog has a little twist to it. So I got my friends who I'm traveling with, Charlie, Daniel and Jess, to control a lot of the things I did in my day. Everything from doing yoga in the morning to like having my first ever proper coffee from a Starbucks. And yeah, we just had a lot of fun with it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video as usual. Definitely like it if you do and we will dive straight into the video. It's currently 2 a.m. Basically, my wake up time for tomorrow is apparently 11 a.m. What time are you waking up? 11. 11 a.m. No run, group yoga. Uh, I'm so tired. But I guess we're lion. Good morning, guys. It is 11 a.m. Well, 11.15. I woke up at 8 looked at my phone and was like wow i literally have like three more hours to sleep um i thought i wasn't gonna sleep but i think i did go back to sleep so that's good and yeah i'm already dressed now just lying back in bed it was a good lion the sleep was appreciated um and yeah food first i'm hungry I'm very hungry what am i having for breakfast cereal banana and a coffee i don't normally have coffee as you guys know but we're gonna be high on caffeine choco cows and then we have Bananas. I have soy milk in the fridge. Bean juice. Bean juice. <laughs> it's not bean juice. So it was on Charlie to decide my breakfast and it was actually a really good breakfast but it was a group decision for me to wake up at 11am and then do group yoga which we had to get ready for. No, we are doing so high up? What? What are you doing there? Where do you want it? Here. Here. I'm not running this morning. Instead of my run, Jess decided that I'm doing yoga. Well, we're actually doing a group yoga session. Jess and I are very ready. Uh -huh. Um, Charlie's also very ready with a, a yogi hairstyle. Daniel's doing music. Daniel's doing music. Oh, the clip. So yeah, our group yoga session commenced. I mean, I'm gonna give you guys a live commentary, obviously. And so yeah, Charlie and Daniel during the breathing section failed to um, concentrate, decided the Macarena was a lot more fun. <laughs> So we then moved on to doing cat cows. I do love a good cat cow. A cat is when you arch your back upwards like this, and then cow is when you reverse it. <laughs> In all seriousness, adding a twist does feel honestly incredible for your back, but then we decided to do some downwards dogs to stretch out the hamstrings. Oh, instructor that I am definitely not. I was just trying to teach them how to do a yoga flow, which I honestly love doing myself. Here we go, yep. Okay, now into plank, into plank. No, Daniel forwards, yep. Chaturanga, chaturanga down. Press up, do a press up. Press up, down to the floor, yep. Up, arch back, yep, there we go, there we go. And then back into downward dog. Very nice. Now that I feel was quite a success. So I decided then to move on to Warriors. I cannot name all of these, so I'm not going to attempt to do that for you guys. But Warriors are, yeah, basically when you do something like this. After a lot of windmill action, I feel like we got there, we mastered the warriors, and then I thought at this point it was a good opportunity to further stretch the hamstrings, you know, just go a bit deeper. Straight line. That's true. Good. Right, and then we're doing the other side. So, what? The other side, you can't be one-legged. This leg then. Yeah. This one. Trail this way. Yeah. Good. 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 Yeah. Good.
Okay, um, next we decided to try headstands. Now, I cannot do a freestanding headstand, but Jess can, so I left it down to Jess to demonstrate first of all. Here we go. This floor is really hard. I know. Yeah. Yeah, you're banging at them, come on. I am banging at them, not when the floor's this hard, okay? Don't die, Jess, please. Hey! Oh, wait, my head is on. Yep. What have we got? I can't do headstand. No, you can't. It's easy. I can't do headstand. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm quite heavy. Can't do it. I'm going to go one of you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, you do it with your arms. That's probably smart, actually. <laughs> Straight, straight. Yeah, very straight. Let go, Charles. Wait, just... No, because she's leaning against me. Can you let go slowly? No, no, if I let go slowly, look. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm falling backwards. No, no you're nowhere near going backwards. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to head rush now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't fall off. Oh, don't fall off. Oh, don't fall off. I'd say were semi-successful and this I cannot think of the name of it right now, but this is fun to do. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, you did it. Yeah. It's easy. I would also say that was semi-successful, but now is the time for you guys to cast your votes down below. We were each gonna try doing an aeroplane in pairs and you have to vote for your favorite or the best aeroplane. Okay, here we go. Aeroplane, jump. <laughs> no, it has to be gentle. Well, if he moves, then you shouldn't have to, but he's not moving. Okay, so that was attempt number one at an aeroplane. Just tickled all his armpits, that would have been funny. Right, so those are one, two, and three, and then this is aeroplane attempt four. <laughs> a great attempt, if I do say so myself. And then next is Jess flying on Daniel. Hey! <laughs> that was good. Oh, I it. oh my god, that's good! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my advice if you're trying this at home, just do it in a very big open space. That was pretty good. Oh, but yeah, this is the finale, and obviously, you saved the best till last. Watch. Oh, the resistance. Lock your legs out, lock your legs. And then lean, and then get him to lean. There you go. Oh, on, no, 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 no. Oh, look, you the little couple's tired. <laughs> eight aeroplanes as i said you guys need to vote down below for your favorite or the best aeroplane and we'll see who wins but next on the agenda i was just doing a bit more random stretching and then after that we were going out to get coffee apparently we're in starbucks oh it's something different but they're all like quite normal caramel max salted caramel what's a zumo de naranja Huh? A weird coffee with a weird menu. What haven't you had from here? I literally never come to Starbucks. I've literally had nothing on this menu. Shall we just go for an iced caramel macchiato with a different meal? Yeah, yeah. do that. Oat soy or coconut and almond. Coconut. Which size for it? Oh. Uh, venti, please. Extra right. large. Extra large? <laughs> yes, please. Okay. This is with vanilla and coconut. Beautiful. Ooh, Can I have some more vanilla, thank you. sir? Cheers to the Starbucks. Cheers. Cheers. I'm going to be high on caffeine. <laughs> oh my god! Your last one's That's so sweet! Sweet, isn't yeah. it? Sweet! Yeah. Try it! So, as you will have seen, this decision was made not by myself, obviously, but Jess and Daniel, who love to go and get their coffee in the morning. And yeah, this was an iced caramel macchiato, but I believe they took the salted caramel off on the top to make it like vegan. It's, um, Extra it's large. different. It's like vanilla -y. Sweet. Sweet, but bitter because of the coffee. <laughs> it's good. I'm gonna be doing front flips on the beach. Never had it, so we're trying something like new. Like I know, I actually don't mind coffee. I feel like it's an acquired taste. It is. Mm. I think it's better on. 
Yeah, it's quite nice ice. So for someone that doesn't usually drink coffee and doesn't usually have caffeine at all, this was a lot of caffeine to have um, in one sitting. And thank goodness my first coffee of the day was actually a decaf one. It's way past my time. If I have caffeine after 12 we are noon, I'm not gonna day. sleep. We're doing all night right here. Oh, are we? Uh-huh. It's gone. Says the girl who doesn't drink coffee. I've finished before everyone. Look. Coffee's down here. She loves it. <laughs> I wouldn't ever drink coffee for the caffeine, but I quite like the taste, I feel. So hyper on this caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> So I apparently drink drinks very quickly and apparently I also like to see how much ice I can put in my mouth. But anyway, moving on swiftly, this was my first ever Starbucks. That's your first Starbucks? I think that's my first Starbucks. Yeah, like oh, wow. I feel, I feel shaky. Is this normal? Yeah. yeah it's just caffeine. caffeine. I feel really you shaky. You're as well. I feel like three shots in it. That's, that's so normal. weird. I've never felt shaky. Look like at a normal. Happy! <laughs> Guys, literally. I can feel this caffeine like pumping through my body. I just can't get it out. I just want to like run and then swim. I just can't like stop bouncing around. It's really windy. We're going to the beach. I have hair on my face. I've got my swimming stuff in my bag. So we're gonna have to find somewhere to change because I don't want to be nude on this beach. I also need to put sun cream on. Oh, this is a nice street. Looks very tropical. Charlie, you need to put sun cream on, otherwise you'll end up looking like a tomato. I have fact 15, yeah, we're gonna put I it on. Know. I feel like I'm getting a nice glow, which I'm happy with, but you know, we're still at risk of burning here. But anyway, I still have a bit of a sniffy nose. Literally, I blew my whole brains out this morning in the shower. Yeah, parakeets. Parakeets, look. Green birds in the tree are parakeets. Yeah, so very cute. Anyway, as I was saying, I blew so much stuff out my nose. Does anyone else blow their nose in the shower? I always blow my nose in the shower. Not sure if that's really weird. But yeah, we also still need to find loo roll because whenever we run out of loo roll, we basically can't go for a poo. I'm sorry that's TMI, but we just can't go for a poo. You have to hold it in. That's not good to hold in your poo, you know? We've got loads of pigeons. The pigeons in Spain are literally not scared of anything. This one's a parakeet. It's so cute. This is Jess and I's interpretation of drunk Danielle, right? Ready? So, drunk. Do a big jump. <laughs> and that age just look like the idiots. Yeah. Hey, he's not even filming it. Yeah, it is. That's very accurate. accurate. I think it's like, it's like that. It's work though, so. Like... <laughs> Hello. 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 Terrible. So if you've watched other videos in this Spain series, then I'll let you decide whether that was a good interpretation of Drunk Daniel. But anyway, we then decided to go to a market before we went to the beach. I'm gonna start a collection of bucket hats. Print one. That's just not. Why? Because like you're a vegan. Yeah. Well, I like the I'm, I'm one with the cows. Okay. One yeah, with the cows. Representing the cows. Yeah, representing. <laughs> I represent the cows. You know, oh. this shop is so good. It has so many different bucket hats. We love. Like, look, so good. What am I getting? Cow. The cow one. I'm guessing the cow one. Um, it's 11.95 euros. Thank you. Gracias. We're a proud owner of a cow bucket hat. Right, are you coming down? Yay! I love it. It's so cute. We've come to Ali Hop, which is a really good shop in Spain. It's like Tiger. We're getting another puzzle. So this is the one we're getting, the panda, because we did the unicorn last time. It's not a puzzle, it's a jigsaw. No, it's not even a jigsaw. It's Lego, yeah, it's Lego. Ali Hop Lego. one of the Malaga two-part series we didn't actually get to the beach so I'm glad you were able to go to sit on the beach and as you will see me doing I did put a lot of sun cream on. We have a nice little spot and we're gonna get in the sea in a sec. The sand is also boiling you could literally cook stuff on this sand is so hot you could cook my vegan schnitzel better than I did in Germany I'm not even joking. There's a guy selling quite nice towels he just walks around. <laughs> I can't, I'm looking at you.
No. No. It's too cold for that. Does it not hurt your head? Three. Two. Don't lose your sunglasses. Go! She's owned it yet! I also did my hair this morning. So much for that. Yeah, the sea was cold, as I said, but I decided um, kind of stupidly to get my goggles to see if I could see anything under the water. And yeah, this is me swimming, bobbing up and down, but I didn't see anything. There is nothing to see in the sea, literally. Murky as everything. That was our last time at the beach, or well, my last time at the beach in Spain, and for a while, which is really sad. It was freezing in the sea, but it was actually quite refreshing. And yeah, we were just like, drying off afterwards so the next stop was food time we were hungry after the beach and this decision was going to be made by jess and daniel but we don't really know where they went and they didn't end up picking up so instead it was kind of like a joint decision between charlie and i because i kind of wanted tofu and i really felt like that so we just came up with something when we were in the supermarket as you'll see careful um and we're getting food we're gonna pick out some baby food to try oh all right so they all either have a meeting now or we get the fruit one yeah the fruit one i think quite nice do you well, think that'll be quite nice yeah, oh look at that yeah tofu tomato salad oh it smells so good smell it this food is huge that's good that is nice Babies have a good life. Not bad. Very You're not fans? Mmm. Right, there's whole loads of thin here even baby food. Does anyone want to try baby food? It's like a smoothie but in pureed form. Vegan baby food. It's just fruit. Pureed. Buongiorno. How do we cook the tofu? On the barbecue. We just cook it like chicken. Grill. grill the tofu. Grill Any the sauce? Barbecue. I have barbecue sauce. Yeah, barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. Barbecue. Marinade in barbecue sauce. We'll see how this goes. Thank you, Shan. Can I please get your reaction to trying raw tofu? Not a chance. Come on, no, no, please try it. Please try it. Uh, the cardboard. No, it's not. It doesn't taste anything like cardboard. I could eat the whole block of tofu raw. It's so please good. Do it. Raw tofu. You want to try it? No, Jess, have you ever had raw tofu? Jess. Raw. Yeah, raw. <laughs> it's just like chicken with no taste. Trust me. If you like raw tofu. <laughs> no, we stand together. <gasps> go, go. Barbecue sauce is one of my favourite things. I have not an obsession, but I really like barbecue sauce for some reason. Maybe even more than ketchup. <laughs> I could have just used barbecue sauce, but I remembered that we had peanut butter and I love peanut tofu. Normally you add a few other ingredients and something to add a bit of sweetness, like maple syrup or agave. But the barbecue sauce we have was actually quite sweet anyway, so I thought that combining the peanut butter with the barbecue sauce might actually work. Daniel had also found this electric grill in the kitchen of our Airbnb, and so Daniel and Jess decided that I would be the first one to try it out. I'm just waiting for the tofu to do something. I think I'm gonna try and flip them. We all know that I can't cook. I've never been able to cook. I'm not gonna hide that, but I'm trying. Oh god, it's sticking. Oh, okay, something's happening now. It's sticking to the grill. <gasps> Ooh, I'm burning the tofu. <laughs> No. As I said before, I am a no cook, as you can clearly tell from what I'm doing here, but I think I saved it. Are you gonna try it? Yeah, I have a little taste of it. <coughs> I'm dying. Maybe at the end, because I've just had a lot of food, so. <coughs> <coughs> Out of ten, it out looks 10. a solid eight and a half. Okay, eight and a half out of ten. Uh, a solid good. one, like a good one. Solid, okay, effort. Effort, I think that took a lot of effort. And you used the new appliance. I know, yeah, I did. I reckon nine on effort. Oh, nine on effort. I don't effort. think there's much more you could have done effort for it. I know. Oh. Okay, and then taste. You sure you don't want to taste now? Not yet. I'm proud of myself. What are you going to rate it? Aesthetics. Aesthetically? Yeah, aesthetics. I'll give it a seven out of ten. It's very nice. Okay. 90. Effort? Where's my effort score? 
school. I apparently didn't try. I'm giving myself a 10 out of 10 for everything, obviously. I'm worried the vlog won't believe me because she didn't say it on camera at the time, but Daniel's still eating it. Mm. Are you not lying? Are you genuinely not lying? Yeah, it tastes like my subway. Oh. A little bit more barbecue sauce and in toasted Italian bread. Okay. Mm -hmm. my subway. See? Right. I know! I was going to make rice with it, but by the time I'd made the tofu, I was done with the cooking. So I'll make rice later. 8 out of 10 from Daniel. A little boat. Good. 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 She likes it! Oh, wow. Good! I made stuff that non-vegans I'm locked out on the balcony apparently, but I just wanted to sit on this balcony because it's the last time I'm going to sit on this nice Spanish balcony. It's going like 2? No, not 2am. Surely not. Half 1am? I'm not even tired. I think it's the coffee from earlier. I still feel wide awake. We leave tomorrow. We check out and then we have a coach to Seville, which is our last destination. What are you doing? Brushing your teeth. Are you enjoying brushing your teeth? Okay, so I can't get in anyway. I'll just sleep on the balcony and enjoy this view of Malaga. Don't ignore me. Hello, hello. No, stop. <laughs> it's just so rude, isn't it? Look, it's a nice Airbnb in there. Nice and air conned. May as well talk about my hair. A bug. Oh my God, there's a bug. This is my hair, like post swimming in the sea um, with no gel. But yeah, this is my hair by the way, without any gel in it after swimming in the sea. It's not that bad. It just feels very dry. Can we please let me in? Like, let the bug out, let me in. Mm. Yeah, I need to clean this camera. It's actually covered in barbecue sauce. Please, can you let me in? Hello? Can you let me in now, please? Please. Thank you. Yeah, you put the bug in that room? I think he's in that room. Oh god. I sincerely apologize for the abrupt ending, but that was pretty much my day. I eventually got back into the Airbnb, which I was very happy about. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now in Seville, we actually swapped this around. So I was gonna control the lives of Charlie, Daniel and Jess for 24 hours. And I'm so excited for you guys to see this one as well. I did not hold back, but as usual, definitely like this video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below, subscribe if you are new. And as always, I will see you very soon in another video. Bye guys. Let's put it back. Okay. I'm sorry. Let's go jump a little bit. Oh, that's gonna be noisy outside, isn't it? So we are basically in. Where are we? Oh my god, I don't even know where we are. I'll try this again. Yeah. Does anyone want to start the video? No. Oh my god. I look like Joseph in the Technicolor dream coat. We have aircon in the Airbnb, but it doesn't seem to work in the bedrooms. We just have fans, but they are actually so bad. Like literally, it does not do anything. It spins well rotates kind of slowly but i don't feel anything when i'm lying in this bed so thank you fan for not doing your one job a review of the ice caramel macchiato yeah. is that what it's called yeah i'm having good video Of everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Say your name! <laughs> Say your name! Say your name! Oh my god. Charlie, Jess, and Danielle. It's Sunday tomorrow, that doesn't really matter, but why are we waiting? <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Are we ready for the challenge? I look so dead and tired. I can't even That's my <laughs>
You're not focused. Oh, thank you. Mm. Hello? Right, I'm trying to FaceTime Daniel. Pick up. Pick up, Daniel Morgan. I have 5G. Daniel's not picking up, so it's on Charlie. Yes, how cold is it? Freezing! I'm gonna freeze! Stop swearing! <laughs> What's bleeping? Do we have a fire? Why is the oven bleeping at me? Shut up! Oh yes, the fridge! The fridge is not closed! <laughs> oh my god, there's barbecue sauce on the camera. I got barbecue sauce everywhere. <laughs> 